Would you look at this? We've only gone and got ourselves a green screen, you know, up in that production value. Not just a green screen, got a light in him as well. It's bright as tits, I can't actually see a fucking thing right now. Yeah, got ourselves a green screen, tall as fuck as well, about 10 foot by 10 foot. I've halved it and halved it again, just to put it on the wall. So you could say we splashed out the cash here at FL Zone, you know, only to impress our faithful subscribers. We will start today with Newcastle boss Rafa Benitez and it has been reported that he is interested in better player Adam Traore. Yeah, rumours are that the Spaniard is interested in Traore. He's looking for about the region of £15 million. Obviously, Tony Pulis will be wanting to keep Traore throughout this summer. There is no denying that he has been on form. He scored five goals and made ten assists this season. He's been one of Ferris star men. Obviously, Middlesbrough now really missed out on getting promoted to the Premier League, losing in the semi-finals to Aston Villa. Will Traore want to play some Premier League football next season? We can only wait and see. The offer, however, is surprising. Traore has actually got a £30 million price tag on him. Chelsea and Everton, two big teams in the Premier League, have also been interested in Adam Traore this season. That is when Pulis did set the big price tag of £30 million, and now West Ham have also been interested in the Spaniard. Moving on, Peterborough have signed Lincoln City midfielder Alex Woodyard on a two-year deal. The 25-year-old has joined Posh for an underscore speed. He actually featured quite prominently in Lincoln's previous seasons. Last season, he did help Lincoln reach the League 2 playoffs, and the season before, he was a big help in them getting promoted from the National League. He told BBC Radio Cambridgeshire, and I quote, I've played a lot of games, I've learned, and I am game ready. That is looking like it could be a good appointment for the Posh. Leeds United now, and it is looking like they are interested in Manchester City goalkeeper Angus Gunn, looking like they do want to sign him on a loan deal. I mean, it was clear to see last season that the Leeds keeper, I have forgot his name, Felix... Felix something. That geezer did have a bad run of form. Obviously, he was costing Leeds a lot of points, a lot of vital mistakes as well. The substitute keeper was suffering from a bad neck injury too, so Peacock Farrell, the Dalla and Bond youngster, did have to be called in for Leeds United. Now, this guy was actually on loan at conference side York City when he heard the news. He has performed really fucking well this season, actually. He's growing confidence. Ability-wise, he has went up leaps and bounds, and he actually, I believe he got voted Young Player of the Year as well. This is all well and good. However, Paul Heckenbottom will be wanting someone more experienced between the sticks. It is looking that that is going to be Angus Gunn. In the four, the Premier League legend has been linked to the Ibrox on a season-long loan deal. It can be argued that Defoe may be in the twilight of his career, but there's no denying how clinical of a striker Jermaine Defoe can be. He showed it with Tottenham, even Sunderland, when they were getting relegated, he practically saved them. Obviously, looking at the stats from this season, he's played 26 times, only scored four goals. However, I do think if he does move to Scotland and plays under Steven Gerrard, he could be utilised a lot more. And yeah, it is certainly excited for the Rangers faithful. Moving on to Sunderland now, when the Black Cats have just recently rejected a deal from an unknown Premier League side. We now know that side to be Brighton and it was a £2 million deal which anyone can say is not fair for a player of McNair's quality. The 23 year old did play for Northern Ireland just recently against Panama, obviously England's opponent in the World Cup where he actually put in a man of the match performance. It is quite unfortunate McNair's Sunderland career. In November 2016 he did suffer cruciate knee ligament damage which just saying the word fucking hurts my knee. He has also had a couple of minor setbacks along the way but he did return towards the end of that season playing in all games bar one. He actually scored four goals in his last five games for the Black Cats and overall I would say he put in the majority of mana match performances. As a Sunderland fan personally it will be a shame to see him go however if the price tag does rise substantially you know anything can happen. Finally now Aston Villa are in the market to sign right back Tobias Pachinik. Obviously Aston Villa are having to shop on a budget this summer with losing to Fulham in the playoff final. Southampton obviously a Premier League side are also in contention for the defender whose contract does run out in the summer making him a free agent. It is quite a strange one from Bruce obviously he's brought in the likes of John Terry, El Mohamedy, Snodgrass before all players you can see with experience. Often for Pachinik is certainly different to what Bruce normally goes for. However, the question is if he does end up at Villa, is he going to perform? That has been your transfer news for today. I hope you do like the up in production. Cost a fucking bomb, I'll tell you that. If you did enjoy or did find the video useful, please do hit the like. Once again, I've been Reese, and I will see you later.